What's going on, guys? Jada Black here. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. I want to talk about Katia Elise Henry. She is the girlfriend of NBA player Tyler Harrell. They have a child together, and they're also expecting a second child together. They went through a breakup uh, this year, and she exposed them. I'll put a video to my response to that in the description box. And she basically outed him for cheating on her and get this having a small d that's literally what she said, <laughs> said about this guy man this is a guy that not only she had one child which she's gonna have a second one with if she haven't had the child already you see this is what happens when you're dating these instagram models and what these guys got to understand uh whenever you slip up they're going to out you in order to embarrass you they're going to use your fame against you that's their only weapon right is to use your fame against you that's why you have to be careful of the type of women that your wife and up now tyler was thirsty and that's why he when he had the opportunity to get with her when they were when everybody was quarantined in 2020 and nobody was really going out that was an opportunity for him to get with her because he had actually tried to get with another female who looked very similar to katia and that failed, that failed miserably. So he had to move to plan B and his plan B was Katya, all right? Now, he was able to get with her and what was very interesting about her calling him out for cheating is that, that was a, there was a rumor that she actually cheated on him first. So <laughs> you just never know. That's why I say you gotta be careful for the type of women that you deal with. Now she had previously dated another NBA player uh, Kyle Kuzma before she got with Tyler and you know these women they like basketball players like getting with these guys but his play actually suffered a bit after they got together uh, it seemed like he has sort of gotten his form back maybe somewhat I don't know I haven't watched too much of the Miami Heat maybe y'all can tell me and there was talk of trading him but that never happened uh, but to me a lot of these guys are very sloppy with the type of women to get with. Will him and Katya be together in the next couple of years, five years? Uh, maybe, maybe not. But she's already secured the bag. Katya's already secured the bag. She doesn't really have to do much. You know, he's the one in a situation where he has to make it work. I don't think she really cares because I think she feels like she can get another Tyler Hero. She feels like she can get another. But anyway. This particular video is about her warning other women about dating NBA players, which is the irony of this entire situation is that she's trying to warn these other women about dating NBA players when she's about to have her second child, if she hasn't already, with Tyler. Okay, because there was uh, talk of them having a, another child together. So let's get into this article. Let's get into this article here from Marka. Says Katia Elise is sending out a strong warning for any woman looking to date an NBA player. NBA star Tyler Harrell's girlfriend has revealed that being the partner of a top basketball, I guess basketball player, is not for the faint of heart. The 22-year-old shooting guard Harrell plays for the Miami Heat and has been her, his, been with his beau Katia since March of 2020. The couple currently has one child together and recently announced they have another one on the way. Okay, of course, you know, thirst traps are going to be there. Thirst traps ain't going to stop. Uh, and she revealed some insights about her life as an NBA wag, as wife and girlfriend of an NBA player. During a recent Q&A session, fans jumped into the tough questions in the AMA session, asking the fitness model about her relationship with the Heat star. One said, any advice for anyone who just started dating an NBA player? Why would you want to date an NBA player? <laughs> uh, let's talk. That. Now, again, these are guys that have a, a harem of women that they're dealing with. Why would you want to be in that beside only for the fact that he has money and fame? Katya immediately fired back. Oh, man, buckle up. LOL. This life is not for the weak. So basically, she's saying that she's all for it, even though she's exposing this guy for cheating on her. She's basically saying that, you know, what she's basically saying is that 
you know, if you're weak and you can't handle it, don't do it. But what she's saying is that she's not weak and she can handle dating the NBA player. A fitness fanatic and committed vegan, Katya has been at the forefront of a number of viral workouts on the internet. Before becoming influential, she worked part-time as a nanny and met Hero after being selected by the Heat in the 2019 NBA draft. So she was a nanny and she has definitely come up dating this guy. All right. And again, you know, she secured her bag. You know, that's why I say these NBA guys are not very intelligent. I get on a lot of black NBA players, but you got these Caucasian NBA players who want to act like the brothers and they want to have a similar lifestyle and date the same type of women. And what they don't understand is you can get caught up just like them. Nothing is going to stop you from getting caught up and having to pay child support. You know, nothing is going to be different. The only difference is the way you handle it and the way that she handles you. Because these these black NBA players, NFL players, and they get caught up dating these fitness models and all that. They get dragged through the mud and they get uh, ran through as far as the courts is concerned. So if Tyler thinks he's gonna be, it's gonna be different for him, then he obviously no, no, duh, he obviously doesn't know these women well enough to know that they can do the same thing to you. When asked if she had thought about marriage, she replied, marriage is not something I'm in a hurry about, to be honest. And that's good because she's in her early 20s. What's really sad is when I see guys who just get who's just getting their life and career started trying to get married in their early 20s. That is the worst decision you can ever make. Not in 2022. I don't care how good that woman is. If she can't wait until later on, then she don't need to be with you. What's what's the hurry to get married? They not ain't nobody else knocking down the door to marry these females you're betting against yourself you know you, you, you're bet you, you're just basically putting yourself in a position to fail early when you should be focusing on building your finances building whatever it is you want to do outside of whatever sports you're playing you don't need to rush and get married and she shared some words of wisdom on parenthood after welcoming baby Zaya into the world last September. Harrow is currently entering the final year of his rookie contract, but is eligible for an extension on a rookie scale. Last season, a 6'5 guard averaged more than 20 points per game in the regular season and hit a career high for 47 from the field. So he did a lot better uh, last season, which is good because he is going to have to do a whole lot better now that he has this growing family uh, with this particular female. Listen, uh, if everything, if they're on good terms and back with each other, then I guess there's really no problem there. But I, I find it interesting how she wants to warn other females because, she, you know, she's built for this. You know, a lot of these women want this lifestyle. Katya is one of those females that want the lifestyle of a, you know, NBA player's girlfriend. That's what she wants. You know, th these are the only type of men that she's interested in. Right. And unfortunately, a lot of girls her age, because she's in her early 20s, too, they want to follow her. They want to go out and get the BBLs and pretend to be fitness models and it just so they can get an NBA player or an NFL player or a rapper. Right. And I just think that that that's not going to work for everybody. Everybody will get the opportunity to date rappers and NBA players. I think a lot of these women are highly delusional. What they also have to understand is these guys are not going to be faithful to you. So you exposing them for cheating is only going to expose the fact that you really weren't built for that lifestyle because if Katya was really built for that lifestyle and no, this is no diss to her. I ain't got no issues with her, but if she was built for that lifestyle, then she wouldn't have exposed him the first time. She would have understood that this is part of being an NBA player's girlfriend is that he's going to have other women throwing themselves at him. And a lot of these men are not going to repel it. And you wouldn't want them to because no woman on this earth wants a man that women don't want. Let's just be real about that. So let me know this thing in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see y'all next one.